Hi, I'm Nick Haraz of Creative 111, and I'm here to talk to you about some new features inside of Final Cut Pro. The feature we're gonna look at right now is some of the new search options we have for when we add notes and markers to clips, we can search that content now inside the browser. This is gonna make organization so much easier on your video projects. So by new, I mean check the date of the video to make sure it is new to you, but let's hop inside of Final Cut. I have my browser open right now as well as my viewer, and I have a series of clips here in this aquatic event. Now as I look and skim through some of these clips, I would actually like to add a note to them. Some of them I just think are really pretty, like the shot here with the scuba diver with the camera. I really love that shot. There's another shot here, good perspective. So I'll command click that as well. So I'm just gonna command click those three shots. Now we could hop into the list mode to add notes to each of these clips, but to do it simultaneously, I'm gonna to head to the inspector. And in the inspector, I'm in the basic metadata scheme. Here's the notes tab. I'm just gonna type in the word saying, love this. So now that that note is entered, what we can do is search for that note whenever it's needed. Let's say I hand this library off to you. You head in here and decide to do a search, but instead you click on this toggle filter HUD. What's new in this version is you can search for all text or specify your search based on notes, the names of clips, or markers. Let's search notes and then just type in the word love. All of those clips that I added notes to simultaneously, those three clips now show up here. And in fact, there was another clip I also gave some love to, love this shot, we can see here in the inspector, that also shows up. We can take this and actually create a smart collection from it, or start to edit these clips inside of a project. So I'm just gonna get out of this filter HUD and also clear my search results so we can see the entire project. And I'm gonna twirl down the event, into my jellyfish keyword collection. And it just so happens that I have a clip with a marker. I'm gonna double click on that marker here, just saying not fitting color scheme. So this is also included within those searches. I'll head over to the filter HUD one more time. This time I'll just choose all text and I'll do a search for color. This clip with the marker shows up right now in this keyword collection. But if I open my search up to the entire this aquatic life event, because we're searching for all text, it finds these two shots, if we take a look at them, their name has the word colorful in them. All of the clips that you bring in Final Cut are gonna have a name, sometimes based on the camera that you shoot with. Maybe you've taken the time to also rename those clips on your OS system. I am gonna head over into the Diver keyword collection Let's clear those search results by clicking on the X icon next to the search field. I'm gonna select a series of clips here with these divers. Actually decide to rename them. One way that we can do that is in the inspector at the very bottom is this option to apply a custom name. I'm gonna come here and just choose to edit to add a new custom name. I have quite a few here. But if I click on the plus icon, an untitled name preset shows up. I'll call this Diver. I'm gonna clear that current name of the clip and add a few of these tokens here. So let's add a custom name. I'm gonna follow that with a dash. And after the dash, I'm gonna add a counter. And then I'm going to add a dash with the current year. So the custom name is gonna be based on a name that you enter down here. So let's call this Diver. And then the counter starts at one. So with this diver naming preset all set up, I'm gonna press okay. With these three shots still selected, I'll head back to the apply custom name, choose diver. And now those shots are renamed based on this information. And the great part about this is I could do, of course, a search for the word diver. And I can filter. If I go to names includes diver, you'll see those diver shots populate. In fact, a majority of the shots here in my keyword collection based on the fact that the word diver is also included. 
just to show this in a different way, I'm just going to type in 2021 for the year that I appended on to that custom name of these three clips. So as you can see, being able to search for content in Final Cut using the Filter Search HUD has gotten so much better between this as well as media representation, which I cover in another movie you should check out above. Once again, I'm Nick Haraz. This is Creative 111. Subscribe for more tips and tricks just like this.